Good morning, everyone, and welcome to 10 Minute Miracle Mondays, where we get together every Monday and work on manifesting miracles in our lives. And we also work on uplifting the planet as a whole. I've been away for a few months, just wanted to take a break and work on my own healing. Good morning, welcome. Um, so now I'm back, took the summer off. Um, it was fabulous just to take a break and and again, work on myself. I'm here to kind of help everyone else work on their own needs. And if I'm not working on my own, then I'm not really any good to any of you. So it was good to take a break and now I'm back in full force. And while everyone is um, joining, I'm just going to do my regular announcements. I have some things coming up. If you're part of the Spiritual Happy Hour group, thank you for joining. Um, if I haven't followed you back on Instagram, just let me know, just send me a message or comment on one of my posts and I'll, I'll follow you back. Sometimes it's hard to tell who's, everybody has different names for their accounts, so um, I'll catch up with that too. So if you're part of Spiritual Happy Hour group, we have not gotten together in person um, since the pandemic, before we were getting together at different um, bars and different, different um, healthy, holistic activities, and it was a lot of fun. We will be doing that again. I honestly am just listening to my intuition on this. I'm vaccinated. I know most of you probably are, uh, and if you're not, I don't want to take us into a situation where we could either catch this or spread it to somebody else. So I'm really just holding out a little bit longer just to make sure that everybody is safe because we want this to be a fun, healthy group. And once we do get back, I have so many activities planned, it'll be a lot of fun. So for now, everything is basically, hi Karen, everything is basically online. If you do want some things that you're not seeing, just shoot me a message. You can send it to Carrie, K-E-R-R-I, at suitablegifts.com or enlightenedhealingspace.com and I'll respond to you or just message me on Instagram. Um, uh, we have an art, uh, Get to Know the Archangel workshop coming up um, this month. Um, you can sign up for any of my events on my events page on enlightenedhealingspace.com. It's my healing site. Um, I do Reiki and card reading and all sorts of stuff like that and I have lots of workshops coming up. I have a four week um, weight loss journey with Reiki and hypnosis. It's fabulous. That's starting up this week. Um, I also have Reiki Wednesdays now. Every other Wednesday, I do a Zoom healing session. It's a half an hour session. Absolutely fabulous. It's distance healing. Um, it's only $15. My normal sessions are over 70. So it's a really good way to get it um, kind of a glimpse of what, what healing is like and you'll get an aura cleansing and a chakra balancing. It's just a lot of fun and very relaxing. So 10 Minute Miracle Mondays. What we do every week is we get together and we start focusing on what we want to attract into our life rather than what we don't want. We have a tendency to focus on the things that we don't want in our lives. Like you could be saying to yourself, you know, I, I knew this was going to happen. Or, you know, every time I look at food, I gain weight. Or I'm never going to have the relationship that I want. I always attract losers. Well, every time that you're saying that, that's what you're attracting. So it's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're putting out your intention into the world, even though it's a negative one. So basically, we're just changing a habit. So we're changing things from negative to positive. Sometimes it can be scary because we get set in expecting the worst. It's kind of like a protective mechanism to expect the worst. But what if you just took a chance and started changing things to what you actually do want? You would be surprised and your whole life can change that way. So we're just changing the mindset. There's six ways, six things that I think about when we think about manifesting. The first one is to, of course, think about what you want. So you can make a list, you can shout it out loud, you can say a prayer to it. This is what I want in my life. This is, this is what I see un unfolding. You know, I want this wonderful new career because it's going to make me feel how. So just think about it and carry it into these meditations and think about it when you wake up in the morning. Think about it right before you go to sleep at night. It just makes a huge difference. It just sets your, your mindset in a different direction. The next thing is knowing that you're worthy of what you want because you are. We're all worthy of the things that we want in our lives. We're not destined to be sad or unhappy or lonely or uh, w lacking in any way. You're worthy of it. So think of what you want, know you're worthy, feel it in your body. How would you carry yourself if you had 
the life that you wanted? If you had the financial abundance, would you carry yourself upright? You know, would you would you take better care of yourself? You know, what? How would you be? So just feel how that would feel, the emotions that you would feel, and carry yourself that way. The next thing is to act as if it's already here, and it can sound like it's you're pretending. It can sound like it's phony, but it takes a little practice. But the more that you do it, act as if it will come to you because what you want is already there. You're just connecting to it. So act as if it's happening. Our entire life is created by our thoughts. It's our imagination is everything. So you can imagine this terrible life or you can imagine this fabulous, fabulous life and you'll have whichever one that you're leaning towards. So go for the good one. Um, also, uh, you'll start to see synchronicities and you'll start to see different little opportunities. No matter how small it is, whatever it is that you're seeking, if you see a sign for it, acknowledge it. Say thank you to the universe, to God, who, you know, whatever is source, um, whatever works for you, write it down, keep a gratitude journal, whatever way that you can express that you saw this, you noticed this coming to you, it just becomes a miracle magnet to more coming to you. So just keep noticing it. Don't brush it off as it just, oh, that just, you know, that's just a coincidence. Yeah, it is, but it's, <laughs> that's what that means. That means it's working and things are coming to you. Good morning, Christine. And then of course, practicing gratitude. Um, give thanks, always give thanks to what's happening in your life. I keep a gratitude journal. It's part of my dear, daily spiritual practice. Every morning I take my journal out. I write at least three things that I'm grateful for. It can be towards what I'm manifesting or it can be just anything, anything that I notice. If I'm having a, being hard on myself about something, I'll write something that I'm grateful to about myself. You can do this if you're mad at somebody. Write something about them that's, that's loving, that you're thankful for, and that will change that relationship. If you're experiencing lack of abundance in your life, write some things that you're grateful for that you have noticed that, that you have, like a roof over your head or you know, clothing to wear or a job or whatever it might be. But it can be anything, anything that you're grateful for, a beautiful day, um, it just whatever it is, it brings in more things to be grateful for. And um, so that's it. Think of what you want, know you're worthy of it, feel it in your body, act as if it's already here, act on the opportunities, and practice gratitude. That will bring it all to you just takes practice, that's all it is. There's nothing that you can feel doing this that you're doing wrong. When we're doing the meditation, if you're not able to visualize what I'm talking about, it's okay. Just think about, you can either just listen to it, um, think about what it is that you want, and, and that's more than enough, you know? So just get used to this, and the more that you do it, the easier it gets. If you're not a visual person, it's totally fine. So, we're just gonna ground ourselves um, because it just centers your, you and it just relaxes you. So we're just gonna work with our breath. Just take a deep breath in through your nose and then just breathe out when, you're, when it's comfortable through your mouth. Breathe in the love of the universe and breathe out all of your worries and stress Breathe in unconditional love and breathe out any limiting thoughts and self-sabotaging beliefs. So we're gonna welcome in all of you, God, Ascended Masters, Archangels, Angels, our Guardian Angels, Healer Guides, Master Healers, and Spirit Guides. Please work with us in manifesting our intentions. Please bring forth the highest good in ourselves and the planet. Restore all to balance and remove anything negative no longer serving us. Please help us in all ways, in all directions of time, all for our highest good. Thank you, and so it is. So now we're gonna work on your personal manifestation. Um, this whole thing is saved on my Instagram, IGTV afterwards, so if you have any questions, feel free. And it's also saved on my YouTube Enlightened Healing Space. So we're gonna focus on your personal manifestation and the universe is going to bring to you what you put your focus on. Universe doesn't know the difference between what you want and what you don't want. So we're going to be focusing on what, what you do want. So what do you want? Do you want love, money, health? It can be anything. 
and close your eyes and relax. Let's go for a walk through a beautiful meadow. There's a soft dirt path to walk on. The grass beside it is tall and green and gently swaying back and forth from the comfortable breeze in the air. It's a warm summer day, but the gentle wind makes the walk so relaxing and easy. There are beautiful wildflowers in the meadow and butterflies and hummingbirds enjoying their nectar. The sky is a stunning blue and there are big puffy clouds scattered in the sky. You see something colorful in the distance and as you walk along further, you realize it's a hot air balloon. When you get closer still, you see a sign in front of it. Take a ride to your dreams. Well, it looks like it's waiting just for you. It's a beautiful balloon. It's all different colors making up this vibrant tapestry. The basket is large and strong with the door waiting for you. You're ready for this and you walk right through and close the door behind you. You feel safe, comfortable, and so excited because you know your life is about to transform. You find a comfortable spot to sit and look out around you. And now the balloon starts to lift up, up, up into the air. You hear the whoosh of the flame turning on and off to lift the balloon higher and higher and higher. It's such a beautiful view below and above you. You take it all in, you take a breath in and breathe out. You feel wonderful. You're now up, up, up above the clouds. Think about what, what you want in your life. It doesn't have to be dramatic. Maybe you just want a gentler relationship with your kids or kinder customers where you work. Or maybe you do want something dramatic, like a major career change, a new relationship, full recovery from a health issue, financial abundance, or substantial healthy weight loss. Take a moment and see what you want as if it's already here. Visualize what you will look like. Feel it in your body, what this will feel like. Where will you be and who will be with you? Feel it, hear it, and see it in your mind. Take a moment now. Now that you know what you want, you feel so peaceful and happy. The balloon begins to descend down, down, down through the clouds. The balloon continues to slowly descend and you begin to take in the view. You are landing right into your new life. You are changing too. What do you look like and feel like now? Everything is coming into view. What do you see? The balloon is touching down now and everything you want is right in front of you and within you. From this moment forward, you're living the life you want. See it, feel it, and believe it. From now on, act as if what you want is already here. Manifestation has already begun. Look for the signs and synchronicities and write them down, act on them, and say thank you. Keep building on this. You control your life by your thoughts. You're attracting the life you want through thinking the life you want. And so it is. So take a moment, open your eyes, shake out your hands. So just to manifest something, it takes a minute, that's it. 17 seconds, law of attraction kicks in. One minute, 
holding a thought, manifestation begins. It's that simple. You can do this every single day. I have tons of these videos already saved. If you need the help, you can skip over to what I'm yapping about in the beginning, go straight to the meditation. Take that moment every morning to center yourself in what you want. Or you can just do it by yourself. Set the timer on your phone for a minute, focus on what you want in your life. And then the rest of the day, it sets the whole tone. Look out for the things that start coming to you. You will be amazed. And again, say thank you or share them with me. You know, send, give me co comments on my, my page. Send me emails and let's share this stuff because it really does make a difference when you start to say it out loud and you start to expect these good things to happen. They really do. The other part of this is um, we work on the planet as a whole. You need to work on yourself first. If you just work on yourself, you help thousands of other people. You, you will, you do not have to teach anyone, you just have to be. And when you are at your happiest and fulfilled and doing the things that you want in your life, you affect so many people around you, not just your family, but people that you don't even know. Your job is not to fix anyone else, it's just to work on your own healing and your own happiness, and that affects everybody else. However, there's a lot going on in the world, so let's just take a minute, focus on the planet, and give a little, little back to that too. So uh, we're going to be sending beams of love through our third eye chakra. You can do it through your heart chakra or your third eye, but I'm going to work on the third eye today. So I want you to just picture like a neon red or a neon pink heart just beaming out of this area and you're projecting it to the planet. So you're just going to focus on that. Um, close your eyes. Um, again, you can do this anytime. You can send beams of love to somebody that you're fighting with, <laughs> somebody that you love, somebody that you feel needs help whoever whoever or whatever you want it just that's another thing that kind of makes a, a difference and you'll you'll notice that somebody that you're struggling with at work you send them beams of love they don't know you're doing it the, the dynamic changes so try these little things it's kind of fun to see how they work so close your eyes and we're giving a big loving hug to the planet and everyone on it by sending beams of love out of our third eye love is everything just send love 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 to all those who need it sending love to people animals plants oceans air everything sending love to those with addictions anxiety depression and other mental health issues sending love to those with physical ailments sending love to those who have been hurt sending love to those who have caused hurt sending love to those we love, to those we don't, to those we don't even know, sending love. To world leaders so they can do their highest good for all, sending love. To create balance mentally, physically, and spiritually for all, sending love. To heal the earth and its atmosphere, sending love. To heal all of Earth's inhabitants, sending love. To heal global warming, sending love. For everyone to see each other only through the eyes of love, sending love. To heal negative mindsets, sending love. To heal our collective consciousness to peace, understanding, and compassion, sending love. To anyone or anything you want to send it to, sending love. The earth is healed, we are healed, all is well, and when you're ready, please open your eyes. And that's it. Just send a, an intention for a minute. Send love out to everyone. And that just makes you feel so good. And of course, I'm sending love to all of you. Good morning, Nicole. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Again, if you have any questions, this video will be saved under the IGTV, the little TV tab on my, on my homepage on Instagram. It will also be saved on Enlightened Healing Space, um, my YouTube account. If you want to check out my workshops this Wednesday, we're doing a Reiki Wednesday. You'll get... 30 minutes of Reiki, aura cleansing, chakra balancing in a Zoom session. It's a group group healing. It's a lot of fun, very relaxing. You'll just feel fabulous afterwards. Check it out on my events page. And um, again, if you have any questions, just reach out to me anytime. Sending lots of love to you all. Thanks. Um, thank you to God, Ascended Masters, Archangels, Angels, Guardian Angels, Healer Guides, Master Healers, and Spirit Guides for working with us on our manifestations and helping us heal ourselves and the planet. We're grateful. Good day, everyone, and namaste.